we'll be discussing today with Carmen Correo, Market Research Director, about how consumers in Europe are getting more and more demanding. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Céline. To start off, could you remind us of the latest trends in terms of e-consuming and especially over the last three years? Uh, yes, with pleasure, Céline. Uh, you will remember that back in 2020, 2021, so during the COVID pandemic, we had noticed uh, a polarization of behaviors of e-shoppers. Basically, we had two main types of e-shoppers. On the one hand, those who were buying always more online, a kind of unrestrained consumerism. And on the other hand, we had e-shoppers who were already starting to understand uh, all the ways in which their ways of consuming were impacting the planet. And they were already thinking about, let's say, uh, more um, reasonable ways of uh, con consuming. In 2022, the world changed once again, and we faced uh, a more difficult economical context and a very tense uh, geopolitical context. And that made e-shoppers change their behaviors once again. Uh, we also noticed that there is that increase in terms of expectations. Can you explain how so? Well, e-shoppers uh, have been purchasing now online for several years and they are getting more and more mature in terms of processes while purchasing online. We also noticed that the more they buy, the more they, their expectations are getting higher and higher. In uh, previous years before COVID, we would have, let's say, several drive things that were extremely important when people were buying online. Uh, the fact that the website was offering several payment methods, for instance, the right uh, delivery options, and of course the good deals. So basically it was all about these three uh, axes. No. Nowadays, e-shoppers think that more and more things matter. Basically, we now have around 25 drivers for every single purchase. So 25 criteria that e-shoppers find really important when they purchase. And it all goes from delivery payment methods to also things that are, let's say, more subtle and concern directly the experience on the website, such as price comparison tools, price matters, uh, things that will help them uh, find information about the products like, like live chat support. So we are moving into a world where everything matters. Therefore, the expectations are much higher. You spoke about one topic earlier, delivery, that is really important to us. How would you describe what is important to e-shoppers when it comes to delivery? We are seeing that um, the location of the delivery is very important. People want to be able to choose where they have their parcels uh, sent. Uh, but also, uh, let's say, when they choose the home delivery, the predictability is, let's say, uh, a matter of outmost importance. People want to know exactly when they will be delivered. They are not available 24 hours a day for their delivery. So we see that uh, ever since COVID, predictability became, uh, let's say, more and more important. And now it's a prerequisite for a nice delivery uh, experience. You mentioned earlier very interesting figures about European e-shoppers, but do you observe any major differences between Western Europe and Eastern Europe? Of course, with Eastern Europe, um, there is one trend that will not surprise you. Eastern Europe took uh, an even harder hit in terms of inflation uh, beginning of 2022 and throughout the year. So you will not be surprised if I tell you that price sensitivity is even higher for e-shoppers uh, in that part of uh, Europe. They pay even more attention to prices than what we see with e-shoppers in Western Europe. I would say a second major difference uh, would be the very strong preference that we have for parcel lockers in terms of uh, delivery places, especially in the Baltic countries. In the Baltics, we've seen that for years now, the parcel lockers were the number one preference uh, ahead of uh, home deliveries. 
And things are starting to move into that direction in Poland as well. We have other countries in Western Europe where the preference for lockers is slightly moving up, but the Baltics remain the one region where uh, people do already prefer lockers to home delivery. Thank you very much, Carmen, for the insights. It was really, really interesting. It made me discover other aspects of the shopper barometer. And stay tuned because next month we're going to focus on another key learning.